I am Paul Schumacher, Research Director of the Max Center at the Wharton School and Chairman of Decision Strategies International. I think that uh, necessity is often a reason why companies engage in co-creation. Imagine that you're a company like DuPont or a company like Novozymes, which has a wonderful technology platform, but they need to figure out how to use this in practice. And to take the case of Novozyme, a leading company in Denmark in the industrial enzymes business, they cannot possibly know all the, the applications of their technology. Platform. So they have to talk with Procter and Gamble how uh, industrial enzymes are used in detergents. They have to talk with the bakery company about how it is used to extend the shelf life or the taste of bread. And they have to talk with uh, the people in the biofuel how it might be used to uh, increase productivity there. So I think some companies are simply in a space where the, it, it, they can't possibly do it alone. So necessity, I think, is one major uh, factor. The other is leadership. I think a culture and leadership of open innovation, moving away from it has to be invented here uh, and whatever causes leaders to have that perspective it could be poor results it could be that competitors are actually doing this this co-creation so they need to do it as well but I think uh, ultimately these difficult questions of culture and strategy as you know come back to you know leadership and leaders articulating the need for this and championing these kinds of things and then I think it has to do a bit with national culture. In some environments, I think co-creation is easier. In high-trust societies, it may be easier to, uh, to do this than in low-trust societies, where you need to, ahead of time, work out everything with lawyers in terms of who is going to claim uh, the benefit, who, who appropriates the upside of the joint uh, creation. So those are some of the factors. One is our own center. We have a Mac Center for Technological Innovation, and what we really do is we co-create with our industry partners and with the researchers who we fund, and even with our students, um, the output. And I don't think we could, uh, at the beginning of the year, exactly tell you what the output will be a year later. Now, we do have some broad uh, guidelines. We have an agenda. But uh, like, just like very good teachers uh, will co-create the class with the students. The students have a great input. And, if, and they are a source of uh, creativity and knowledge and, and the teamwork that results from it. So I think uh, academic uh, entities are often good at co-creation. They are in the creation business to begin with. The other point, uh, a good example, I used to work at Royal Dutch Shell in London in the corporate planning group. It's a very large multinational. And the notion that co-creation can happen in the company is also important to consider. We normally think of partnering with other companies. But if you take a very large enterprise, such as Royal Dutch Shell, which operates in 100 countries around the world, um, the notion of uh, getting certain technologies or certain approaches, in the case that I was involved with, was scenario planning. It was co-created from the corporate planning group which is a central function with some of the operating companies uh, in, in this far-flung empire. So that's an important one. And then a third example that comes to mind is, is my own company, the one that I founded called Decision Strategies International. And if I look at the methodologies that we use, often this is co-created with really uh, marquee clients, sort of lead user clients who have special needs in, in risk management or they have special needs in terms of uh, you know, strategic reinvention. And, uh, Yes, we do offer a service, but we also learn a lot from that. And so I think co-creation is, uh, is all around us and is much more pervasive, perhaps, than people realize. So we should think of this in an ex expensive manner, not in a sort of narrow way as only doing it with customers. There's many other stakeholders with whom this can be done.